Wait. Oh no, is it recording? You record? Uh, uh, no, you're not. Record. Bandy, Bandy. Uh, thank you. Bandy is now recording. Woohoo! Hello, I recording. Her, I call her Bandy. <laughs> Don't you love? <laughs> oh, I miss smart moving. Ugh. Just crawl up that. Why is it not powering back on? I don't know. They've been doing that, haven't they? Yeah. At it's least weird that you don't have to supply it power, though. The advanced ones have. Hmm. All right, so we're ready. All right, and start yours. Then I'll come in with mine. <laughs> All right, everyone, welcome back. Um, this is another uh, Rob Mac plays Minecraft. We are again on the D twenty three server, and we are joined by the esteemed Dream River twenty three. A.K.A. Mr. Acoustic D. Hello, hello. And our partner in crime, Time Storm. Don't tell him I did it. <laughs> and uh, today we have uh, some special things going on. Um, actually, I'm not the only one recording today. So um, Time Storm is recording all of this in um, the default texture pack, if I remember correctly. Yes, because I'm lame. And... Um, Dream is recording in the Sortex, is that correct? Yep, Sortex modded. It's not completely modded, though. We don't have all the uh, textures for it. Sortex and, mostly uh, modded. And because I'm I have, <laughs> well, And I have actually switched over to the uh, John Smith, which has been also edited by a good friend of ours, Insult. So uh, we are happy for that. And um, because we're all uh, are recording, we're not the only ones doing introductions. So I will lead over. Um, go ahead, Dream. Hey guys, welcome back. Dream River Twenty Three here with another Let's Play episode of Minecraft. And today is not going to be a Let's Play, so to speak, as more of a Let's Show. We've been doing a lot of work here on the server with the new update. As many of you know, we have uh, um, the. Feed the Beast, Minecraft edition, uh, Feed the Beast on here. So we have a lot of the, well, all the mods that the Minecraft crew runs. And uh, we actually have been developing a lot of stuff on here lately. I'm going to show that off. I am not joined today by Steve. He is taking care of some stuff for school. But I am joined by Rob Max 69 Say hello, Rob. Uh, hey, how's it going? And Time Store, who's, oh, there she is. Hi, Time Storm. Hi. <laughs> Uh, now, Rob and Time have been um, really busting their butt uh, doing a lot of hard work. We've had the server up now for about nine days, and they haven't even started to build a house yet because they've been working on uh, a big, huge server project. So we are going to show that off today, and uh, I'm not the only one recording. Rob's also recording. I'll have a link to his channel so you can see his video of this same video. He's going to have a different perspective and everything on there. And Time is also recording, and she's going to have this up on her channel so Maybe. that you can... Uh, Maybe. I thought you I'm said joking. you were. We're going to have it all raw, so it's like unedited. I will. I will. That's you'll actually have it on there with no edits, so you'll actually be able to see the full uh, display and everything on there. Uh, but this, right now, we're just kind of here at my observatory over town. This is where I can come and kind of mess around in computer craft, and, uh, which we were just actually noted, noting about the computers. Sometimes they just kind of stay off, and you can't turn them back on, so I have to replace that one again. I wonder if we can put a switch on it. Hmm. Hmm. That would be weird. It just, it just seems weird. But why does uh, it? Why does it seem dream that you could just look down here and see all your minions working? <laughs> that, minions is such a strong word. Um, you know, I just, I, you know, gotta crack the whip every once in a while. You know, I see a big pokeball being built, and I'm just like, hey, that's not, that's not, that doesn't work. So. Uh, but anyways, we wanted to do, this is going to be a little bit longer video, but we are going to kind of try to keep the segments to where they're um, efficient, concise. We got yelled at last time. Word. Yeah. Yeah. Let's yeah. face it, we're pretty good at taking multiple takes, so. <laughs> <laughs> hey, some of the episodes that me and Steve record, uh, most of them we try to get it all in one take, but a lot of times it, it, there are, if it's if it's something we're doing for a tutorial, We'll work on that damn thing for three or four hours. It's ridiculous. But, uh, but yeah, so uh, let's go ahead and get started. Hop down here. And we're going to first give you an overview of Spawn City. Now, Spawn City, I actually really like how it is because it's in a snow biome, but we have a lot of wrath lamps down right now just so creepers don't explode while we're still building it up. <clears throat> um, so it really kind of sets it apart. You can see it on the map and everything like that. Lush green versus snow biome out there. And just there's a lot the... of... 
really cool sorry. things that are here in, in, in Spawn City. What were we going to say? Oh, just for, yeah, just that so you know, um, for all of us, the uh, the wrath lamps are very nice, but um, for those of you who don't know, because they create a lot of light, they do create um, a good amount of lag. So I don't yeah. recommend just doing this just for the fun of it. I no, these these kind of have the uh, yeah these these have a purpose, <laughs> and yeah, we could probably use a glowstone, but even still, like if you have enough glowstone in an area, it will start to uh, cause more lag for a system, especially if there's a lot of other stuff going on. Uh, now, first starting off, we're going to come over here for just a quick overview of what's in Spawn City. We have the D23 Theater. I just built this uh, earlier today, and I still do love this texture pack. I love how the bricks look on here. Uh, but yeah, going inside here, you can see that uh, we're actually playing Star Wars here in the theater. I would, we're I playing just... Wars. Well, I think this is at the same spot that it was at last time when we were. Uh... I would so do the Cantina theme, but yeah, YouTube yeah, hates me. Take. What's that? Said so I would do the Cantina theme, but YouTube hates me. What happens? I know. Um, so yeah, we just simply have a computer craft, uh, uh, advanced computer back there from Computer Craft, and the advanced monitors up front. Which I could have done this honestly. I could have done this one with uh, just the regular computer because. There's no color being displayed in there. Don't you hate it when there's always somebody who sits in front of you and you can't see? Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Pretty much, jerk. Hey, um, the old pub. Yep, so right here we got the old pub, which was done by John Doe 9843 And we were talking about this in the last take, too. There, uh, there are parts of the texture packs that do not show up um, with the new system, like when they switched over. Instead of just showing up as purple blocks, they're just clear on a lot of things now. So I got nothing in here. But if I right click in there, um, did they disappear? No, they're still there. I mean, I have no idea what you're talking about because it's yeah. always oh, showed up on mine. Yeah, sorting leaves. There you go. Yep. Strange. So yeah, switching back, it says sorting leaves. That's kind of what it pulled into it. If you yep. use a default texture pack, things show up. Shock. Oh. Yeah, but it looks so. It looks so default. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I really do like this pub. I like how the uh, just how it looks like with the, the the pyramid shape or not the pyramid shape, just the A framed house kind of design. Mm. It looks really cool. Um, so yeah, and you can see a lot of stuff going on down here now. I think you were mentioning that they were they're brewing. Well, right now they're not doing anything down here. No, I think uh, Tom, Tom and I drank it all last night. Yep. Yeah. Fine. As with, if you drink the uh, alcoholic beverages in uh, the stuff, does it make it to where your screen goes blurry? I, you know, I don't know. Yes, I think so. Because I know the coffee, the like it makes it to where you like for 15 seconds or 20 seconds, 30 seconds, whatever you like, walk a lot faster. Uh, what's the name of alcohol in this? Um, I think it's mead. mead. Honey mead. Cured mead and short mead. Well, let's try this. Please. Throw them around. I want some. I'm not getting anything. I can't. It's oh, not. Wait, I'm in. I'm in creative. Ha -ha. Ah, that's why. We're in creative. Hmm. <laughs> We're all getting drunk on YouTube. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> so drunk. <laughs> oh wow. Okay. Yep, well, too nothing. bad. Too bad. Insult's not here. There's a coffee shop right here. True. That is true. He always needs his coffee. Uh, so yeah, this is the coffee shop that we don't know who was put up by. I do like that John actually put on there. You know, made by John Doe or created by, because that makes it to where it's much easier to be like, oh, and this person made this. Blah 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 blah. User on the server, whoever nicked this computer, I will kill you. Was it Igor? I don't. Oh. <laughs> I'm. I'm not gonna go there. By the way, <laughs> Igor made an airport over here. Love you, Igor. This is your uh, moment in the sun, the moment in the sunshine, moment in the spotlight. Yeah, there we go. Woo. He made the airport. He did. Oh, is that what this is? That's yeah, because uh, we have the we have Traincraft, which is the old uh, trains and Zeppelin mod. Well, they right. still have the Zeppelins in there. Oh, see, I've only I've only messed with the uh, the trains themselves. I haven't did anything else on them. That's cool. I was wondering what this was. I was like, is 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 that like a weird looking creeper that's miscolored? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know if that actually works. I don't know. Whoa. That's a Zeppelin. So yeah. Just this is the airport spawning vehicle. Zeppelins out. <laughs> All right. Well, let's see. Let's, there's got to be a block here. Um, I don't want to leave it here. <laughs> here you guys. I'm getting in. <laughs> you fly. Like you're not going very far. 
Hey, this is what we got in trouble for before was not stepping, sticking to topic. And oh, now yeah. Dream's the one in the. <laughs> Don't judge me! I, I can't even find the block to get rid of it. Yeah, hold on, hold on, let me test this. You need some coal or something. Hey! Whoa! Hey, <laughs> check this out. I'm going for a ride. Ow! <laughs> you crashed! Oh, I'm in a wall now. <laughs> I don't know how to go. I don't know where to go. <laughs> oh wow! How do you make it lift? Um, look up, look up, look up, look up. Or try shift. And like then go forward, push forward, up. and look up. Oh yeah, it's not working. Uh, I don't space know what bar. I'm doing. Space bar. <laughs> <laughs> well, time. It was nice knowing you. <laughs> Bye, how you guys. <laughs> how do you get rid of this thing? I can't even get out. I'm stuck in here with Dream. Uh, oh, oh, how'd you get it's, out? It's, I just right clicked. It's gonna float away. Oh, <laughs> I think it's because I'm the passenger. How many did you spawn? Dear God. One. Oh wait, I'm on them. Oh my goodness. Let me out. Right click uh, on the like the floor. Oh hey, look. That's because I was spawning them in because I was Ed Zeppelin's right click. <sighs> How do we get rid of these things? Um, there we go. You keep punching, you'll eventually get it. All, All right. right. So let's fix this. <clears throat> okay. So now that we've uh, just went off topic for like thirty minutes. <laughs> yeah, really. All right. So All right. back to what we were doing. So yeah. So that's spawn. Uh, um, I'll show you the storeroom right here. The storeroom. This is actually what we're about to get to once we go to the transition right for this. This is what we've acquired. Oh, you might ask. oh this I is all the stuff that's been mined. Okay. What is yes. this? Amber. Amber doesn't show up in my texture pack. So, yeah. But, yeah, this is all the stuff that we have collected. Just. And mind you that we're not, not down at the diamond level. All of, our, uh, all of our fun is not that low. So. Right. How All right, do so you go for your to fun? the main event, what you guys are here to see. This is, uh, you know, the grand hub, the central station of everything. This is, oh shit, I'm falling. <laughs> yeah, yeah there's a hole there. This is leaving yeah. us. We're falling. We should, we should uh, put a sign saying, you know, cuidados or whatever. <laughs> how, about, how about dream? Mind don't fall in hole. Uh, so Mind this the is gap. the grand central station right here. This is. Um, Really, the the main part and like the big part of the build that's been going on, and it's been taking quite a while. Like what, eight nine days now, pretty much since we started off. Fun. No, it's not. <laughs> There's still a lot to be uh, bored. True story. I am now psychologically insane. I don't think you were that far off uh, before we started is, this, though. So is it, it clinical count. now? Is it clinical? Yes, it was. I have actually have a certificate on my wall. Oh, awesome. <laughs> Right next to my uh, my degree, it's cool. Uh, so yeah, so this is the uh, Grand Hub Four. This is the central station that we have right here, uh, and the biggest thing is, um, which we were talking about this a little bit earlier, and kind of what started this whole situation is, before we before we started using this uh, bucket, uh, before we started using some mod pack. A um, couple servers back, we had Bucket on, and the great thing about Bucket is it has a lot of plugins, like essentials, to where you could type in slash spawn or slash home or slash, you know death point or back or whatever but people would actually have a spawn city they would have these things to where they could you know build a shop so that they could sell all their stuff that they're going from to other people other people on the server would buy it and without having bucket since bucket hadn't really been updating or putting anything out it's really fallen away and most people they go off into their corner of minecraft and then it's just like being on single player they're not communicating with with anybody and so i kind of pointed it out to uh rob saying hey Let's do something to where it brings the server back together. And, you know, we're going to turn off this rain. Ah. Uh, be, brings be the be server back together, and, and people start actually communicating again. So figure out something, and we'll see what happens. So, uh, Rob, I know I asked you that, and then this you came up with this idea. Yeah, basically, um, I the reason I got into Minecraft was the minecarts. And you can imagine I did it for a long time on vanilla, which means I really didn't do much besides get in a cart and go. Uh, but now uh, there's a lot of stuff. We have train craft and rail craft on here, and that works really well with a lot of other things. 
And so we said, hey, let's make a central station where, you know, it's right in the middle of Spawn City. Everybody's got a central place to go. We'll branch out from there and uh, can start connecting to people. And that's what we did. We just headed out in all four directions and started mining. Uh, we started out with Steve's carts. It worked good until uh, they got a little too far down the road. And then uh, we had to come up with some more creative ideas. Um, so uh, I said, hey, look, my uh, partner in crime in all this has been, you know, was Time Storm in the beginning. And I said, Time, <laughs> I need an idea for mining and placing uh, bedrock because we wanted it in case everything in bedrock. And uh, Time. Let's go down and show them while we're oh, this too. Yeah, let's head, let's head down that way. Um, so, um, yeah, I said, uh, Time, I need something that's going to work. I've run out of ideas. What do you got? And Time told me what? Um, turtles. Yep. <laughs> so confident. So soft, shell, soft shell turtles. <laughs> no, come back. Sorry, I'm losing stuff over here. I so was trying to I. grab a Twix. My wife bought me Twix. And... Oh, that's so nice. I love well, Twix. <laughs> well, that was nice of her. Off topic again, but it happens. So, and this is what you're talking about. And I remember when you were first talking, because we were kind of saying, well, how far out do we want to go? And, you know, to kind of keep everything with server lag and everything like that. And I know we were talking about going out 4,500 blocks, uh, not from spawn directly, but on the on Ray's minimap, 4,500 out from spawn. Um, so north, southwest at 4,500 on there. And that's a long way. That, that's a lot of rocks to get taken care of. And I know you said you first start off with Steve's carts, and I was actually, I, that was one of the days that I was here with you, and I was actually checking out whenever y'all were building those because y'all were building the little carts up. Um, but so the problem, you were running a kind of problem, like they just would stop working or what? Well, there was two two things. One, um, the, when, like, we have the quartz crystal from Zycraft in here, you can't mm -hmm. place track over that. So if it ran into that, then you had to go out and, and you didn't know about it, so you had to just keep watching them. On top of that, once you get out so far, it's just the travel time back and forth. So we actually wouldn't see a car for almost an hour because it took that long to get out there, mine until it was gotcha. full, and come all the way back. And that's why we needed something else. And Timestorm, uh, you brought up going to and using turtles. Yes. So how did you have that set up? Um, actually, it was a big, kind of like a big ring of turtles, um, about 26 of them with one with a one center control unit. And it said, hey, guys, everyone move forward. Okay, now everyone dig. Okay, now everyone place down bedrock. And it actually worked decently at the time. Um, but it was slow, and we had to refill it. And I mean, it just wasn't working for us. And so we had to move on. To and they would have to, like, drop off stuff too, right? Uh, um, well, they generally drop stuff, but then they get stuff in the inventory and have to clear it out and then put more stuff in it. And you had to do that 26 times for all these turtles. Well, I think, and, and, and I know... Um, so the turtles, maybe not for such a large scale operation. I know I do really like how the turtles how they work. Uh, they are great, but this is honestly a really big project. Yes. <laughs> yeah. On. When it came down to it, we figured out um, during, for all four tunnels, just alone to place a bedrock, we had to place or we're gonna. You know, well, obviously we're still in the process, but it'll be three hundred and sixty thousand blocks of bedrock. And one thing that you should mention is, I know a lot of people are like, why did you even put Bedrock down? The reason why we wanted to go through and put Bedrock down was because people live out in these areas. And this is, we're at level 25, I think, 25, 26, yeah. uh, for, the, for the where the tracks are. And so basically I told them, you know, that was one of my stipulations for them, is you have to put Bedrock around it. And so I was kind of the one that was making it more difficult, I think. Just and because I wanted it to be, I wanted it to be good. There's no reason half-assing it. So... Put bedrock around it so people can't quarry through it and mess it up. Because if somebody's traveling along and then a quarry took out, you know, a big, huge chunk of it, obviously that's a bad thing and will die with what they have on them. We don't want that. So and I know I was the one that was making it a bit more difficult on y'all. We love you for it, though, because we had to come up with interesting builds to do interesting things with the resource we had available to us. So Now, what did you end up doing um, to get it to work because i know that this the the black line right here is complete right yes um we, we eventually went from the turtle idea to um pretty much a advertisement for lram <laughs> what happens um, well let's uh let's pause the screen and we're going to hop over to what yes. you went to so uh we'll be back in just a second guys all right <clears throat> all right yep 
Okay, I'm there. EP time. Oh, I gotta get out of here. Here, can you just bring me over? Why is it raining so damn much? E Rob. Nope. There you go. There you go. Oh, that's I'm here. I'm left here all by myself. <laughs> it's dark and scary. Well, it's not dark. That's for damn sure. Oh, there we go. <laughs> all right. All when right. we come back, I'm gonna be staring this boar right in the face. Yeah. All right, I'm back live. <clears throat> All right. All right, guys, and we're back. All right, let me get mine, come back through. All right, guys, so we are back, and this is what um, they actually worked on, and this is a thing of beauty, in my opinion. One, I'm glad that I know that on uh, the server, server before last, I couldn't stand in the same room as a red power frame because it would just kick me. Like, <laughs> screen dead. <laughs> Minecraft just stopped. Um, but this is... Is gorgeous. Now, what do we name it? Uh, the Tunnel Slayer? Uh, yeah, we call it the Tunnels Lair. <laughs> so it's two word Tunnels Lair. I'll put that on the screen maybe. Probably not because I'm lazy. Yeah. But <laughs> <laughs> flashing uh, lights. No, this this is honestly gorgeous. And this is uh, so given a review overall. How many? This is uh, what a five by six? Yes, five by six. One, two, three, four, four heads. So five by six boar head, and this would go through and just uh, grind out or uh, devour the the stuff in front of it, like the tunnel ahead. So it would dig out the tunnel. Then back here is where you would have to where this laid the bedrock, right? Yes, um, we actually call both ends the business end. <laughs> business on both yep, ends. Yep, we have. Yep, we have. This is the business end, and this is also the business end. Um, <laughs> it was really nice because for us, it started out as two separate machines right until uh we had stopped feeding the batteries for the for the bore head and then the uh the back side had started catching up and i just sheared off the front of it and we slammed them together and then time storm went through and uh and made it a lot slimmer and a lot more sleek and i think now because she's built them so many times that she can do it in her sleep almost <laughs> pretty much <laughs> Actually, I built this in like three uh, minutes. True story. Yeah, no, it wasn't that much. Well, let's go and see the one in action. And I know we just switched over to this segment, but we're going to go see the one in action so we can kind of see what it does uh, while it's working. So once again, hold on one sec, guys. You know we could just make this one move forward. Clear. Right? And I'd like to see it in the tunnels. I think it's much more Okay. Yeah, with the that flashing way. light and everything. <clears throat> All right, yeah, because it's right down near this tunnel, right? Yeah, there's a, there's a tunnel somewhere here. Um, it could be actually it's right down here. We I'm gonna grind down again. Uh, I filled this in a minute ago. Wait, where'd I go? I uh, down the hole. Oh, come down the hole, dream. Oh, okay. Right you gotta actually hit the hole the first time though. Actually, nah. You this... gotta rub it around. Wait. Uh. Oh. This could actually. Where'd you be... go? Which way? Oh, uh, away from center. So toward me. Yeah, north. Just turn around. I'm I'm like F1, so I can just uh, have it focused so, on you. So was I. Me. It's gonna be somewhere out near 14. I should have marked this one too. Oh well. <clears throat> out near what? It's out near. Uh. Uh. Sorry, 45. Or 40 at least. 40 at least. Wow. This one's almost done then. Oh, by the way, this is only half the trip, guys, on my stream, or my uh, YouTube. Uh, yeah. Only half. I flew the whole entire segment multiple times. Just a, just a couple. It, just a couple. Only about probably like 50 times. <clears throat> that took up three-fourths of my day by itself. And you know what I did? Portal gun. And he was smarter. Of course, you would have thought that I would have, you know, portal gunned us this part of it, considering I could have at least put us above the other station, or where the other station's going to be. Well, we never actually implemented a portal on the uh, 
Mark 3.5. No, we didn't, but I could have put us out where the 4500 station would be. Yeah, that's true, too. I'm uh, looking at the map here, and I'm, I'm pulling an Igor now and looking at what's on the map. I'm going to laugh if this actually blew, blew past uh, 45. 45? Well, we're at what? We're crossing 36. What? I got Twix, and they're good. Mm -hmm. Oh. This machine's way you know, too You efficient. know what I'm really jonesing for right now? Do you guys, uh, do you guys have Culver's where you live? Culver's? <clears throat> yep, Culver's. It's actually originated out of here in Wisconsin, but they're in a lot of other states now, and they have, um, they have butter burgers. They are the, they're very, very good burgers. The problem is, is that I'm, as a good Catholic, I gave up something for Lent, and I gave up fast food. Oh. So Why? now, now I have several weeks yet until I can in, just bite into any, if anybody, oh, if, if any of your viewers time have ever been to a Culver's, they understand. Oh, hey, look, we ran into water. Oh, the natural enemy of the Tunnel Slayer. <laughs> <laughs> natural enemy, huh? Let's see. Um, oh, this goes up quite a ways. Oh, look, it's a hole in the lake up here. I got it. Oh, um, with dirt, not sand. Bam. Let's see here. We just block here, and water is slowly receding. Oh. When I say slowly because it is pretty mean. You know, even through that first time we recorded, my frame rate was awesome, like 35. And now I can't seem to keep it at 20 half the time. Which means my videos are come out choppy. But okay. it is what it is. Reloading the tunnel slayer. <clears throat> now that a lot of the water stuff is gone, this, that helps. I'm okay. back up to 30. Awesome. All right, we should be good now. But is this missing uh, cable right here? That's uh, missing a timer, but I had a timer because I picked it up so it stopped for right now until we started uh, recording. Because <clears> we, we, we actually have a very have good a light on it, right? Um, Just the torches, right? Um, Yeah, give them an aluminum torch somewhere around here. Actually, yeah, aluminum. Yeah, those are better torches. Put it near the front. You have to get rid of my short mead now. Let me get rid of this one too. Hey, was, man, we just went off on a whole bunch of tangents, didn't we? Um, I'll count us down to come back in, Rob. Okay. So that way I can. It's not like the weird awkwardness on each side. Okay. So ready to start her back? Uh, let me find a good place to be here. Um, I'll stay here down the tunnel. All right, whenever you're ready. All right, go ahead and start it back up time. All right. Like the, the, the timer. All right, here we go. Is that at one? Yep. All right. Three, two, one, go. All right, guys, we are back. And uh, this is the Tunnel Slayer Mark 2.5 is what I'm, what I'm told here. And you can kind of see it in action. Right now, this is digging the tunnel going north, correct? Yep, yep. <clears throat> and so, yeah, big wall in front of us. Um, actually, this is a good spot to reach in, so you can kind of see it going through, destroying the blocks out in front, sucking them all in. And I know that some of y'all are going to say, oh, yeah, we already did one of those. No, 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 no. This isn't the same thing. This isn't uh, Qbert, which was uh, the red power machine that we worked on a while back. This is Tunnel Slayer. It's got a specific purpose, not just harvesting. Um, so you can see on the front, yeah, and this is where you can see the front. This is a 5 by 6 so that's 30, 30 blocks it's eating uh, every 3 seconds. Oh, it's two one, to three seconds. Two, three, four. So about five seconds between each cycle. It yep. looks like. Yeah, it'll just it'll vary. Um, what it's doing is, is if it can move every tick of the uh, timer, then it will move. The only time it won't is if it hasn't collected all the, if it hasn't broke all the blocks in front of it. So, 
you know, and it's one of those things where we didn't want to adjust the timer. I mean, I think it's about the default two seconds, I think. Right now it is. Um, I think you can set it down to one. Hey, you got a zombie on your back. Yeah, right. I was going to grab my diamond <laughs> sword. But um, I just don't want to break anything in here. Yeah, I don't blame you. Trust me, I've fallen through this thing a couple times. Um, <laughs> Die, zombie. Okay. So um, we ha I have, uh, at one point I had set one of them to one second. Um, and again, it doesn't, the timer doesn't, at this point, the machine is so in sync that you can't go, I mean, we could move the timer up, and as soon as it's ready to move, you'll notice that not every time does it make three loops on there. One, right. One, two, one, two, see, it's, it'll move at whatever we can get it to go. The thing is, is that, you know, every time it ticks, it's placing the blocks in the back, so that's never an issue. And in front, as long as it has broke everything that the frames can push themselves forward, it's good to go. How many, how many, how much ores are placing at once? Damn it, stop! How many ores at once? Uh, 20. 20 at a time is it, it's placing back there. Woo! Alright, so, and looking out from this end, you can see that it's shaking it from the front, and then it's putting down the bedrock. Uh, and it, it's... Where are we at right now? What's the... I have my map to where you can't see the coordinates. We are at 4176. So this has only got about 324 more blocks to go before it hits its final destination. Matter of fact, by the time we're done recording, it will probably be there. So this is the tunnel. This is the the tunnel slayer in action. Like this is a awesome build. Um, if you guys really do like on on my channel, um, give a thumbs up, and we might have a uh, special uh, a show how uh, uh, with with Timestorm building this thing out. Just kind of getting the exact layout. How to build the tunnel slayer. Because this, I don't know, this is like a really well done, efficient machine. And she actually made it even more efficient because uh, time, we actually were looking at a different way. So we have the, uh, what's it called, the under, under slayer? Yes, the under slayer. <laughs> we have the under slayer because uh, we were wanting to place uh, red power, redstone torches underneath the tracks under, under the bedrock. But we didn't want to mess anything else up. So we actually built the same thing. I compacted this down. two blocks high. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. It gets ridiculous. It's... Two blocks high, it's it's freaking insane. And it's, I, I just gotta say. It's also, it also has the auto-recharging circuit that this one has on it. Yeah, it, it's quite awesome. Yeah, that's one thing you did mention, is that uh, we have a charging station back in Spawn City for the uh, red power, or uh, for the, yeah, the red power, or electricity battery. That's the word I was looking for. And it's all implemented so that the batteries, the dead batteries are pulled out and sent back through the ender chests over here, and then the recharged ones get thrown in, pulled up by this retriever, and head back into the bat boxes here. And we can't, the problem is, is while it's moving, you hardly get a chance to do anything. So when we try right. to when, um, like restock the bedrock back here in the crystal chest, you'll see here, I can't, it's as soon as I open it up, and it's actually empty now, but because there's nine stacks in each of these, um, no, I'm going to, yeah, there's nine snacks in here, so it's going to keep going until it's empty. As a matter of fact, it'll keep going um, otherwise, but um, if we actually look at, you know, look in here real quick, you can see there's still a lot of stacks, and there's also a lot of them floating, in, full stacks floating in the frames yet. So we could actually go quite a ways yet. Yeah, which that was one thing that we uh, made on the last, I guess, the Mark Two instead of the Mark 2.5. Um, with this one, I just we had the lever on there so you could turn it on and off, because you were having problems that last time. Yes. Remember? <clears throat> so I just put that back down there and turned it off so I can okay. refill the the diamond chest block. So as you can see, this. But that gives me a chance to look in here. So this is where the batteries come and get stored. So this inner chest it works with the same one that's out at, back at Spawn City above the tram. Yes, and we could look at that too uh, in our videos. Um, yeah, this is the full batteries. This is the recharge batteries. Over wow, here. Wow, I've never looked inside the inner chest. Hold on, keep it open? That's badass. I never looked inside there. Oh, the, uh... Like, looking off into, like, every... Nothing? Everything? Into the know. end. It looks like the end. It's an ender chest. That's have crazy. You ever, have you ever looked at the end? A couple times, but yeah. not really. I've never gotten there because... Uh, I've never gotten there to kill the ender dragon just because gold always kills them before I do. So, <clears throat> gold's like, day after we start this, the thing, oh, I found the ender dragon, killed him. What? That's why I always try and tag him with him and just... I sit there, you know, <laughs> just wait. It looks pretty nice, Cavern. Just stalk them. 
Well, no, I usually, like, this time I'm like, oh, well, I'll live by you, and then I've been doing this project forever. So my house is still a uh, Red Rock uh, Plateau. <laughs> All right, so yeah. this is the Tunnel Slayer. Um, so, yeah, mode, this is... And we're going to start this back up, and let us head back to... Let's see, what do we want to look at now? Back to the station, and we'll go check out the computer over there. And also, I want to check out the little battery system up top. All right. Oh, no, I'm stuck inside the... Uh, I fell. <laughs> Goodbye. Right, Teleport for... me out of here! Are you still recording, Dream? <laughs> yes, I am. Okay, so I, we're all sitting here looking at you and laughing. Because no. now, now you're lost forever under bedrock. All right, y'all teleport Excellent. back to uh, the spawn station, and we'll uh, head back over there. <laughs> so while we're doing that, um, down in the description below, I want to show that you guys, uh, I have uh, Rob's and Timestorm's channels linked down in the description below. Make sure you guys show them some support and some love on the channel. They do put up uh, Let's Plays. I know Rob puts them up pretty regularly. Time, do you put up, how, how regularly do you put up your videos? Whenever I can get around to it. Which could Are y'all be... teleporting back to spawn? I'm, I'm working on it. Okay. <clears throat> this is spawn. Oh, hey, look, it is. So, uh, yeah, I'll link them down in the description below, and so you guys can uh, follow them over there. <clears throat> the... Rob. Damn. All right, so, back here at spawn. Woohoo! I'm not stuck under a freaking tunnel slayer. <laughs> oh. <Aww. clears throat> Everybody. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. Up on top up here, this is where y'all have the recharging system, right? Yes. Um, right. It's a lot less panels than what it used to be. Yes, because we don't need them right now. Um, actually, it's doing pretty good with these. Well, I'm having so many batteries. I, you know, I guess that really helps right there, too. Because, I mean, when you look at this one, you have so many batteries going through there. So how does this work, then? This pulls, basically, it senses as if there's um, a battery that needs to be charged, or what? Uh, this pulls whatever's in this chest over here out into the charging station. <clears throat> the bat, the bat okay. box. And the bat box will get charged by the solar panels. And then the retrieval says, hey, pull out uh, full batteries and give it to me. There's actually one going in right now. Yep. And then once that's full, the retriever will go, hey, I need it. I need a full battery. And it'll get sucked out into this interject to the left. And actually, it probably Nice, and that just it. goes... But, yeah, because well, it's because it's nighttime. Yep. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. But it's... Yeah, it's charging. Or it did charge a little bit. But yeah, that's... Um, there's a sm uh, slightly smaller compact way to do it, but the problem is you run into, like, partially charged batteries and stuff. So using the two ender chest system... Um, Especially since we were, uh, you know, doing this in creative, it's a lot easier than worrying about the rest right. of it. Now, and this is the part that that I really enjoyed because I actually uh, got to work uh, with Timestorm's work on here. Now, and one thing that should be mentioned on this part right here is this is a huge undertaking just from the first part. There's, I think, 130, 140 lines of code in this program. And maybe in another video we can go over that, you know, if you guys want us to. But it's... Unless you're into the programming and, and you know it, then you're not going to get it. But uh, looking at this system, just one underneath right here, I know that it all goes through um, the bundled cables and stuff like that. So you can see those and the insulated cables for the color coding out from there. So just kind of showing you underneath here what it starts off as. And then this is connected to all of these um, different sections right here. And so the computer system itself really tells the carts where to go whenever you, whenever you pick this stuff out. So, yeah, this, guys, this was um, a big undertaking. Yeah, with the, basically we use, the, um, we use all the information up above to interact um, with the Railcraft switch motors. That's what you're seeing here. Um, and that, uh, that's what helps us get everything going um, so that um, basically it gave, uh, it gave time and dream something to tell the computer to do because um, it was really easy for me to get the tracks down and say okay you know this is this is what you know this is how it works now make it work you know, that's the one thing um, with this project that we've all kind of been the the crazy genius people and we've all been the workers and well that's uh, because time storm is really like uh and, and, and I tried to put that in there too. This was created by Rob and Time. Like they did the work on here. The only thing I really did on this part was going through with the GUI and making it to where it has a GUI, which I got to say I'm pretty proud of because I've never pretty. done a GUI system before. 
Um, so this actually is a interactive touch screen and um, the code and everything like that we're not going to really get into. I mean, you can a lot of people I don't think would get it too much. Um, but basically right now, I know that we have the, uh, the east, north, and west are blocked off because they're still working on getting dug out and everything like that. But the cool thing, if you uh, go through and you right-click on south, it actually dispenses out a cart. It says cart dispensed. Please board cart. Mind the gap. da 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 and, um, Time, did you want to hop in there so they can see it on the screen? For sure. So whenever time gets in there, it's automatically going to push her off. She's going to go down the track. And once she hits over the thing, it we'll looks actually up. reset itself back out. Yep, it all sets up. And uh, shall we um, maybe head out and show a station? Yeah. That's a pretty good clip that we're moving at. Um, I know um, that that was a big thing too. Is yeah, getting to and from spawn is nice, but you know none of us wanted to wait a whole Minecraft day in a minecart just to get there on the standard powered rail. And uh, you can see we uh, end up with um, we're actually kind of catching up to time storm who must be on the platform of our first station. Yep, let's uh, hop off of here. We should see. Uh... Oh, there comes the tag. Dream is on his way. We're actually only going to look at the platform here real quick. Um, I'd like to take everybody down to the second station here, but you can see what we did here is we have a disembarking track. It kicks you out, and then uh, a detector track and a uh, the uh, cart. Um, it's not a deployer. I can't remember what it's called. What dispenser. It? Dispenser, that's it. Yeah, because they can suck up carts as well as dispense them. And when you go to leave, it's really easy time. You want to show them how easy it is to leave the station? Walk over the pressure plate, it automatically gives you a cart, you hop in, and off you go. And so this will automatically send you into that next station right out there. Yep, heads right. That's, that's the thing, is that although we didn't want to, um, you know, we thought about trying to make a, um, like a uh, express line all the way out to 4500, but this really worked the best for us, you know, for everybody to just, it's a dual line system so that you don't have to worry about waiting for somebody else who's coming through. And it's it really, I mean, it gets you out, it's 4,500 in about a minute and a half. It's really a pretty good clip already. We still need to work on getting a lot of these. I think it's because the, uh, the tunnel board, the tunnel slayer is going. Because when the tunnel slayer is not going, I can run through here pretty smooth. Right now, I'm actually getting it's breaking up quite a bit. I'm getting a little bit. We've still got a little bit of lightning coming, but I think that's because, you know, we're loading chunks so fast. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, you can imagine, you know, at least we didn't have to hand it over. So I think, uh, I think I would have gave up before we got to handle the first one. <laughs> uh, but we're coming up here on this is, uh, now you can see this station is slightly different. Um, we're waiting for everybody to get in so we can, uh, let there is Dream, and for some reason, time uh, went running back. Yes, I went run running back. Okay, there we go. So here's what uh, here's what I did. This is the black line. Um, it's what we call the southbound line. Uh, so you can see this is the, in this texture pack, it's a little different. Uh, but there's this strip that goes all the way across here. This is the, um, the Zycraft blocks, the black Zycraft. Specifically, it's called Zycor... Zycorite block. Um, that is in every one of these stations. It's the same. So everything down this line is that you know, has that look. And then 
which uh, what we'll have, like this is the 3000 station. So we have the uh, basalt um, brick in here. The first station you saw, we have the standard brick. And in the third station out, we actually have marble brick. So yeah, like when we're down the red line at the second station, these blocks will be red, but they'll still have the basalt cobblestone. I do really like this layout and everything. This is really clean, the design, and the the, the Zycraft blocks mix really well with the red power, especially because I'm looking at it through the Swordix modded uh, texture pack. You'll have to see it through my video. I'll have to, you'll have to make sure to check it out just so you can kind of see this because it looks really nice. I like, I like the basalt bricks in this texture pack. Well, if nothing else, we know every, uh, each one of us will each have two views of our video. Yeah. <laughs> So I uh, so, wanted to kind of show you guys the the uh, the mechanics behind the station, and because that's kind of my area, and then I'd like to pass it over to uh, Time, wherever Time went, channel. and um, from there we will um, uh, get into the design. Because I was doing this stuff, and before I knew it, Time had the whole rest of the station built. Um, so yeah, it was showing you before we had the disembarking track and the detector track and the uh, cart dispenser. On this side, we have a cart dispenser with a um, boarding track, I believe is what this was, and a yeah, two boarding tracks or a control track and a boarding track. And they'll both work the same. The uh, pressure plate is wired underneath to the dispenser, and which kicks out a cart, and then it waits until here you have a player detector underneath here. So when the cart's waiting, once there's a player in the cart, it sends a runstone signal to the track, and it sends you off, and then you hit the high-speed transition track and into the high-speed power rail. So every station looks like this and works pretty much the same. What I'm going to do is I'm going to rip apart and show you the guts of this. Um, very simple design. Um, as I'm really slow at breaking blocks because I just want to single-click things away. Um, so what we have here, you can see um, when carts come in, the, like I said, the cart dispenser, and then there's a retriever that pulls it out. And you can see I colored both of those blue, and they go into an ender chest. And then underneath the ender chest, there's another retriever with the, the red tubes that head up to the cart dispensers that are waiting for someone to ask for a cart. Um, and then all of the stations that we have all have these ender chests in them. So there's always a supply of carts everywhere. So all the, the carts that we just rode in on came out of this part of this chest and went back into this chest. Not to no. mention that every cart dispenser that is waiting for a cart also has nine carts in it. So there's a lot of carts on the system. I think it's really cool. I do like the whole inner chest and I didn't ever think of, of using the inner chest for something like this scale because that really makes it to where the system is. That was one thing we were always kind of fighting with is like, okay, if we get the carts over here, then how people are going to get those and get them to where they come back? Using the inner chest is a smart way of putting that out. Yep. And as for <laughs> as for the station building goes, um, yeah, I just started building. Um, downstairs, as you've already seen, um, red's uh, the disembarking. Green is the boarding. Uh, you have your obsidian plate here, which you step on to retrieve your cart. And now, what's the difference between the obsidian plate and the other plates? One is pretty. Uh, actually, no. The obsidian plate uh, is a, it's an actual mod the, um, that um, you know how um, the wood one is ev would detect everything. Um, the stone one only did um, basically mobs and players. Well, this is players only. So okay, I just, okay. I used it because it looks pretty. He's right. That's <clears> what in down here it looks good, um, but it's really nice if you put it outside your home. And you don't have to worry about it because the zombies will stand on it and they'll never trigger your door. Gotcha. That's a nice way of thinking. Because, yeah, that's, I didn't know. The, first, I didn't know there was an obsidian plate. What part? What mod is that a part of? Is that? It is actual obsidian plates. That's what it's called. <clears throat> oh, okay. Okay, and this is the, uh, I guess, upstairs, I guess, lobby area. It's um, an observation, observation deck. Observation deck. Um, I do like that you can see right down through there. We want to get some trade mats in here so people can trade stuff. <clears throat> so you can come out to the station where someone lives and buy stuff from them. <laughs> I got a long ride ahead of me. I need a soda. Exactly. Does anybody have an <laughs> industrial craft coin? <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll sell meat out here. Uh, exactly. Um, then after that, now, I know we have, have these portals there because this this area actually is pretty tall. Yeah, well, let's, let's not that one, though. 
Um, these all switch back and forth. So what I did ahead of time is I came out here in this portal right here. Mm -hmm. I lost time. Oh, I'm sorry. I was looking at the portal. There I lost. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I, I was I think staring at the depths home, of actually. the portal. I think that one actually goes to home. So yeah, after you can see we're already up to a height of 80. Um, when I was digging, I I replicated the first one that um, that time had built. So um, what I did is I just made it a once I hit I broke ground. That's where the station was. Well, this one was quite a ways up, and we lost time again. Oh, I'm I'm taking the long way. Apparently. Admiring my uh, layout. <laughs> <laughs> Your layout. Yeah, I dug this one. Uh, you did. You did build this one, but I, I, this is my layout design with the half. Yeah. The half. Steps. The beacons are on all yeah. three, uh, out in each direction, correct? Like so, people can actually see that there's a beacon. That's where a tram yeah, station at the, is. At the, every station, there's a, there's that beacon, um, which which helps because they're visible from a few hundred away. <clears throat> right. Because uh, without that, I can tell you right now. Um, yeah. If you want to dream, head out just a little ways. It's about 500 away. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this one. I'm pretty sure this one disappears pretty easily in the mix, just because that's a huge jungle biome. It's yeah, yeah. Even from here, I can't really tell what it is. Right. And if I put this back, well, there it is. Yeah, that makes it so much easier. Because I was like, wait, where'd the beacon go? <laughs> but yeah, so it does. Um, it does come out quite a ways. There's a lot of stuff out here. You here? We'll go separate directions now. I'll, I'll head uh, northwest. I don't know which way I'm facing because I just f one it. I think you went uh, northeast. Mine's... But yeah, so... Yep, mine just faded out right yeah. here. Yeah, you can see that that can go... Should have uh, actually put a mark down. Yep, there you oh, go. Oh, I ran into something. A rock face or something. Mine but faded yeah. out somewhere right here. I mean, I know we figured it was like 200, I think. Or something. It's a ridiculous amount. Um, so at least you have the beacon to go by to find. I like Did you cover it up? What's going to... Oh, there's... My head in the beacon. My chunk loaded up a different chunk line. About 220. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. So a very excellent design. Again, the, uh, the, uh, the same station design here. You can see because this is the second station, we had salt brick. It's the black lines. We have the black zycorite bricks. Or whatever that was. Yeah, dark chlorite. Um, but uh, definitely an excellent design here. Um, the only thing. Did you want to go uh, out to forty five hundred? Um, I guess we could. I don't. Yeah, uh, I mean, it's. To... Yeah, oh, my artwork. Just riding right there. the tram. Your what is? Yeah, the artwork. Oh yeah. Oh, um, at the station. Um, you know, I think what we're gonna do is uh, we're just gonna say that the. Uh, um. What did we say? The public works department on the D23 server uh, doesn't know how to complete things very well. That's true. <laughs> All right. I'm the first one heading out to the uh, oh. 4,500. Hey. I'll catch you soon enough. Probably. I'm lagging like a beast. Not to mention it's peak time for people that are on my internet. Yeah. Ah. But yeah, I mean, like I said, I mean, this is, I mean, the, you know, this is exactly what I thought of when, uh, when I first thought about this. Um, I was thinking of something that everybody could build more and attach it to. But right, I think what we have going at the moment is uh, this is definitely helping keep people coming back to the board this You know, is it something I think is going to be 100% utilized by everybody? No. You know, it's you know, public transportation. We get more than 10%. That's pretty good. So if we get three people? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, there's three of them riding. Woohoo! Mission accomplished, guys. I like how the car depth sounds. Yeah. Although I've noticed that even when my time not turned way down, it's still loud. loud. Yeah. Loud, yeah. My, mine are like 30% or something. So yeah, as you can see here, the marble brick with the uh, um, the salt cobblestone. Now this station is a little bit smaller because it's the end of the line, so there's nowhere to go this way anymore. Right. They just have the um, one section. Yep. And this. Microphone. Muted. Again, the uh, observation deck. Now this 
this was the original size that Time had built. When I said, well, look, we need to put something in here. This right. was it, originally. Um, I like that. But the, uh, the lighting is also the same. What I can do is I can take you out to, um, to another station. If I have it here. I had it wrote down somewhere. Um, so you can kind of see the big difference. Let me find my waypoint here. Um, no, I know I had this one wrote down somewhere. So let me put this in here so I can teleport out there and you guys can join me quick. And you can see the difference. Because these look, these ones look really dark. Microphone activated. Which, um, this wasn't originally going to be the black line, but uh, some events led me to that. Um, let's, oh, I got to get my, I'm like, why can't I type anything in? Well, I just left my chat microphone on muted. this time. It's much easier to go through and type in TP and stuff like that. Well, overall, I think they they turned out really great. I know we're going to be going checking out another one. Hopefully the red line, because I just like the red blocks. But, you know, um, no, that's good. No, the, I, the red one is going to be the one. I saved that for the direction I was going in. And uh, I think I'm heading east. So, But, uh, yeah, come and join me. Um Oh, this is the blue line. See so, now, see how easy that right. was. This was the first. Is this the first day. Yeah, this is the first station that was built. Yeah, this is the first station. Well, it turns out that they actually kind of worked out nice because the blue line, this is surrounded by water. Uh, yeah, I think it, every station on the blue line <clears throat> is in water. We did not plan on it. It's just like okay, we'll make this one blue. And you can see here again the marble theme continues. But this is what I was talking about. And uh, Dream, these, this public works department that you have, you better get on them, man. They did a crappy job. I agree. Uh -oh. Now I'm still having the little crazy glitch system for uh -oh. the paintings. Yeah, I can't even through them. I, I'm actually seeing, like, purple frames. This is uh, arcane glass. And for those of you who can't see, uh, behind there then we use paintings. And there's a lamp back there. So it gave it the shadow box effect. Um, I'm actually going to break this for a second. So... People can see. And because Rob likes killing the ore in the uh, local area. Oh, yeah, there is that, too. But see, that's what I did then. And actually, it looks like I'm actually getting the picture glitch again. Like, there's a picture over a picture here. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Yep. That's what I got. I think it's a, I think so it's a Minecraft glitch. Yeah. Pretty well. blue lights! Yay! Yeah, so actually, I'm probably going to be close to the uh, the uh, second station on the east line because I like the black and red look. So let's. Uh, I saved that for for my station. I think we're going to actually uh, we're going to have a naming contest. Well, everybody will get to take a look and uh, name stations. You can see, uh, yeah, this this station looks a lot brighter just because it doesn't have the black in it so much. Yeah. Um, let's see. Oh, I took it <laughs> apart. <laughs> but anyways. But in here, I can show you, um, behind here, that same philosophy exists. You have, uh, the carts come in to a cart dispenser on the side of here, retrieved in, again, there's their ender chest, and then fed back out, uh, to another cart dispenser. And that's all there is to it. Now, right now, we have it disconnected because the line's down. Right. Oh, Bart. <laughs> well, I mean, here. overall, I think it's a really, really great system and a really great setup on here. Um, let's go back to spawn. You guys want to teleport there, and I can teleport back to you, and we'll finish this one up. Uh, Microphone I'm, muted. Yeah, I think it's... <laughs> I know there's still a lot of work to get done with still uh, mining out the... Uh, north tunnel and the west tunnel completely, and then... The East Tunnel needs to be finished, too. I don't know. There's still a lot of work to be done. I know that. Oh, I didn't know. I am. So, yeah. That's what the uh, the big project on the server has been, guys. Um, and once again, like you guys did an amazing job uh, pulling this this off with the, hey, it's not done yet. On there. Yeah, no. Hey, uh, so Dream, 
Do we want to uh, give them a little sneak peek at the uh, the next step in the process? Not on this video. We're <laughs> running way over time. And hey, all right. they got to give us some thumbs up and some likes if they want to see what the next project is going to be. I agree. See, now I... Uh, I uh, who was recording earlier? I think it was Draco and them. I gave them a, well, you're going to have to watch us because there might be a hint. So that's the hint is if, if all three of us get enough like, then maybe we'll show it next week. Because it won't be up at, you know, that, that won't even become. That, that one's going to take well, we got to finish this project. You can't yep. start another project until you uh, we'll get this one finished. I know. <laughs> well, what do you mean? It's, there's, it's nice to have like 10 things going. I like having sanity. We should have put it northeast, west, south, so it said news. D23 tram news. <laughs> I just thought about that. Really? Fireworks? <laughs> Anyways. Um, so, yeah. Any last words, Rob? Um, I think um, I need some words. I think, uh, no, um, I guess I just want to throw a shout out quick to uh, Dream for uh, giving us the server to play on. Oh, yeah. Um, and I'm going to put a quick pitch out there uh, because I tag all my servers with it. Um, both my server and uh, the D23 server are hosted by uh, Fluke of Hosting. Uh, so if you are ever looking to host your own Minecraft server or a TeamSpeak server, look them up. I will have a link in my video, so uh, check them out. And I have a link in mine, and that's uh, Fluctus or Fluctus uh, times Trumbull off fireworks. It was like, or by pew, 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 <laughs> hosting. So it's like, they couldn't do that. So yeah, Fluct I always call it Fluctus. Fluctus. Um, so yeah, I'll have a link for uh, down in mind if you guys want to do the ho server hosting to them. They do have host really great servers. Rob will have it on his. Time, do you have anything to say? Um, it's been a long, long, long time making this. Yay. Agreed. And for me, guys, I do once again want to say thanks. Thank you guys out there for so much for watching and uh, checking this out. If you stuck around the whole video, you got to see a lot of cool stuff. Um, leave me some comments. Leave Rob some comments on their channel. Leave Timestorm some comments on their channel. Let us know what kind of questions you ask. Obviously, if you're going to be looking more for questions about uh, uh, co uh, computer craft Lua, things like that, I'm not saying troubleshooting, going through the whole bit, but... Maybe time can go through and start posting some videos on just how-tos on those. Uh, Rob's definitely more the engineering, and I am just me. You know what I do. Yep. So uh, definitely post us some questions and comments uh, on our channels. Let us know what you guys think about this build. Um, make sure you guys like and subscribe to uh, their channels as well and like the videos. And, uh, yeah, that's all I got. Until next time, guys, I am DreamReaver23. I'm Rob Mack. And I'm Timestorm. Woohoo! And we'll see you next time, guys. Game happy. Bye, guys. And I'm clear. Yep. I'm not. All right. I have to be up <laughs> in four hours. Um, <laughs> so...